We are one minute to launch and we're live at the Guiana Space Center. We're launching Metop C for UMETSAT and its partners, ESA, CNES, NOAA, uh, built by Airbus Defense and Space and all the industrial teams involved in that. And we're traveling on board the 19th Soyuz to launch from the Amazonian jungle, the eighth launch this year from the CSG. There goes that mast. Attention pour le début de la séquence d'allumage lanceur. Our best wishes to the teams. Top I0 moins 20 seconde. Largage du MAVKM, allumage triétage à tous les vidéos. Attention au décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top décollage. We are off. Metop C has started its journey, flying through the very atmosphere that it's going to be sending us information about. We're heading out north over the Atlantic. And he's telling us that everything's going according to plan. Of course, Metop is going to orbit our planet north to south, so we are going to deliver it on a polar orbit. We're burning 20 engines at the moment. We've got four on the core stage and four on each one of those boosters. Stabilisation correct du lanceur. Stabilisation is correct. And the boosters are doing all the work. They only burn for two minutes, but that's long enough for Soyuz to escape the pull of our planet. They are delivering 80% of our thrust right now. Their job, to get us away from Earth's gravity. Gravity, of course, makes us stick to our planet, but it stops us, stops us from flying off into space, but it also makes it very hard for us to leave. So we need an awful lot of firepower to do that. <coughs> and we can see those four boosters now being jettisoned. Separation du premier étage. And we have confirmation there from the range operations manager. So we saw those with our own eyes, and we're now burning the main core stage, known as the Block A, and it's the engine that you can see there. Stabilisation correct du lanceur. And the stabilisation is correct, all going according to plan uh, from the range operations manager there. Altitude on the bottom left of the screen, 85 kilometers above our planet. So distance, if we were to draw a straight line across the Earth, from the launch pad to the position of the launcher, 131 kilometers. And our speed on the bottom right, that's kilometers per second, of course, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, per second. So we are already traveling incredibly fast and uh, we'll be getting even faster. Amazing to see such beautiful pictures of the uh, launcher. So those clouds actually managed to move away just at the right moment. Coming up to the scheduled moment for the fairing to be jettisoned, the fairing being the front, the nose, the tip of the vehicle that we saw earlier, housing the satellite and protecting it from the rigors of the launch, things like... The acoustic vibrations at launch, which are very loud, of course. Separation des deux demi -coifs. And we have separation of the fairing, which comes in two halves, which is why he said separation of the two halves of the fairing.
So, our satellite is now exposed to space and we are officially in space. We are Les 100... Les tout le bord sont conformes à l'attendu. Coming up to 150 kilometers above Earth, we actually uh, arrived in space when we reached 100 kilometers, which is the official Kármán line, the official boundary with space. Still following the launcher with our cameras, which is quite remarkable to see it now, four and a half minutes going deeper and deeper into space. Our trajectory on the top right-hand side of the screen is the trajectory of the launcher, the planned trajectory, and the cross is the actual position of the launch vehicle. We're starting to get further away. You can see there we're now 175 kilometers high and we can still see the dot of the engine. And we have separation there, confirmation from the range operations manager that we have now separated the second stage of our rocket. Picking up speed, close now to four kilometers per second. All going well, all going according to plan. We can see our satellite for the first time. There it is, Metop C uh, at the front. So uh, if you've never seen a launch before, to the left-hand side is what remains of the rocket. Then uh, it's sort of in the middle, just after that white fan section, is the frigate upper stage, the gold round circular structure. And then right at the front is the satellite, and it's all folded up, of course. Um, ready to unfold when it separates. An evaluation after the event and check out how it all went and see if they need to make any adjustments for future flights. So it's a very important process. And our telemetry stations tonight are Galio. We saw that. That was the one in um, French Guiana. And then we'll be picking up the signal next in Bermuda in the Caribbean. Then we've got St. Hubert. That's in Quebec. And New Norcia in Australia. This is the scheduled moment when we pick up the signal in the tracking station in Bermuda. So the ground station... De la par la station de Bermuda. And we've just had confirmation of that there from the range operations manager. Uh, our confirmations take a little bit longer to, to get to us. Um, the ground stations send the information back to the CSG, the Guiana Space Center, uh, but it has to go via Moscow to be validated first. So it can take a little time for it to get from the launcher to us for confirmation. That's the scheduled moment now for the engine shutdown. Separation, separation there of the third stage. And we're looking at these CGI images, computer generated images, which are showing us what the experts have planned and calculated to be happening to the launcher and the satellites. So they are a simulation of what's happening in space. And this is the scheduled moment now for the frigate upper stage to switch on its engine, which really signals the next phase in the journey. The frigate upper stage is a, a really clever piece of kit. It was originally designed as an interplanetary probe to travel around the solar system. And it was adapted to fly on board Soyuz. And it can switch its engine on and off up to 20 times. And that's why it's able to take its passengers pretty well anywhere they need to go. And it makes Soyuz ideal for launching all kinds of spacecraft to all kinds of orbits, including constellations and, of course, um, observation satellites and meteorological satellites like today. Frigate getting ready to switch its engine off, and that's what it looks like. This is the scheduled moment. And this next phase of the flight is known as the ballistic phase. That means that we have no propulsion. Ballistic means traveling without propulsion and coasting without the engine. Sometimes we have very long ballistic phases, but for this flight, it's not too long. It's about 38 uh, minutes. 
And we're going to take a break in a second to, uh, while we wait for the ballistic phase. And we've had confirmation now that we picked up the signal at the new Norcia tracking station. So Soyuz has checked in with the teams there, southwestern Australia, and it'll be uh, no doubt downloading a pile of information and data about the flight over the last ha half an hour or so. And uh, the tracking station will then send that to what's called the CVI here at the Guiana Space Centre, the teams who then go through the information and uh, monitor the flight in real time as well as uh, looking at the information and analysing it after the event. So we now have the scheduled moment when we switch on the frigate engine for its second burn. Scheduled switch off time for the frigate upper stage. So this is the scheduled second ballistic phase. We had two ballistic phases for this launch and the ballistic phase here is the part where the orientation manoeuvres can then start. Getting closer now to the scheduled moment of separation of our satellites. That's what it looks like. We will wait for confirmation from the range operations manager, but you can see there the satellite moving away from the... Separation du satellite Metop C et attente confirmation de l'acquisition par l'équipe projet. So he's announced we have separation of Metop C and we are waiting now for confirmation from the project team. Confirmation de la quise... confirmation de l'acquisition du satellite par les SOC à Darmstadt. And he has confirmed that the satellite has been acquired by the Darmstadt teams. So, so good news. Uh, some very happy faces here. We're going to now go over back to Darmstadt, uh, where we've uh, the UMITSAT event is ongoing, and uh, over to Monica Jones. Monica.